Hey, I'm Max with Aura, and today we're talking about child identity theft and how to protect your kids. Identity theft is one of the fastest growing crimes in America, but these criminals don't only target adults with credit cards, solid credit scores, or savings accounts. According to a study, one in 50 children were victims of identity theft last year. Even worse, victims lost $918 million to child identity theft. But why would an identity thief come after your child? Well, unfortunately, scammers have discovered that they can use your child's sensitive information, like their name, date of birth, and social security number, to take out credit cards, open loans, and more. And because few parents or legal guardians regularly monitor their children's credit, the scams can go undetected for years. In this video, we'll teach you how to identify the warning signs of child identity theft, what to do if you think your child's identity has been stolen, and the best ways to prevent child identity theft before it happens. So why do criminals target children for identity theft? A child's identity is essentially a blank slate for identity thieves. Children don't have credit reports, and few parents actively monitor their child's credit or social security number. If a thief has a damaged credit reputation, a child's identity is a way to start over. While it's illegal for anyone under the age of 16 to apply for a loan, Few companies actually verify ages before issuing credit cards or lines of credit. So what are some ways you can tell if your child's identity has been stolen? First, your child starts to receive bills in their name. Your child may receive credit cards or pre-approved card offers in the mail. And you may start to receive calls from collection agencies asking for your child. So if you're concerned that your child's identity might be compromised, you should follow these steps right away. Contact the fraud department at any company where your child's identity was used. Ask the companies to close the accounts right away and request a letter of confirmation to make sure that it was done. Contact all three credit bureaus and ask them to remove the fraudulent accounts. File an identity theft report with the FTC at identitytheft.gov. And file a police report for identity theft with local law enforcement. This step is especially important if a family member committed the crime and you wanna press charges. So now that we know what to do after your child's identity has been compromised, here are some top ways that you can keep your child's identity secure from the start. First, don't give out your child's social security number. Keep your child's social security number and physical card secure and don't give it out if it's not absolutely necessary. In almost all cases, the IRS is the only entity that requires your child's social security number. So if a school or doctor's form requests their social security number, you should leave it blank. Keep your child's sensitive documents in a secure location. The sad truth is that a majority of child identity theft is carried out by family members or other people that you know. Any document with your child's personal information should be kept in a secure place away from prying eyes, ideally in a locked and fireproof safe. So here's what you should keep locked away. Your child's social security card and birth certificate, any medical records, and other documents with sensitive information. Start monitoring your child's credit and social security number. It's impossible to constantly monitor everywhere a criminal might use your child's social security number. Credit and identity monitoring services scan databases and can alert you of potential signs of identity theft. Teach your kids not to overshare online. Social media and messaging apps offer the perfect opportunity for criminals to steal your child's personal information. Oversharing on social media can make you the target of phishing attacks and imposter scams where fraudsters pretend to be friends or people that you trust to get you to give up your account information. Delete personal information off old devices before trashing them. Like most parents or guardians, you probably have devices full of photos of your children as well as their personal information. So if you ever decide to sell or donate or recycle an old device, be sure to wipe it first, then restore it to factory default settings. You might not think that identity theft could happen to your child, but the sad truth is that it can. The best thing that you can do to protect your child now and in the future is secure their identity from scammers. And for peace of mind and added protection, sign up your family for Aura's Identity Theft Protection Plan. With Aura, you get identity theft protection for your entire family. And Aura monitors your online accounts, passwords, social security numbers, and other sensitive information for signs of identity theft. You'll get alerts if anything has been compromised or your family's at risk. Family plans include protection for up to five adults and children. So if you and your family are ready for ironclad identity theft protection, head over to Aura.com and get a 14-day free trial. We'll see you next time.